This is Ty Nunez, Account Executive with Nextternal Solutions. In this video, I'm going to provide you with instructions for the Nextternal Google Base data feed. I'm going to show you how to set up your Google Base account, configure your Google Base settings for the Nextternal data feed, sign up for Google Base FTP access, and enter your Google Base information into the Nextternal order management system. Google Base or Google Product Search is a free comparison shopping service provided by Google. Google Base product results are displayed when a buyer searches Google for specific product information. You will see here that by typing in Yum's Cupcake Shoes that Google will display all the products and merchants that are related to this search. When the customer finds the product they like, they are directed to the merchant's website to continue the purchase. Nextternal makes it extremely easy not only to publish your products to Google Base, but to keep that product information updated. Additionally, once you provide Nextternal with your Google Base FTP information, we will update your Google Base account automatically every night. This means that if you add 100 new products to your Nextternal storefront one day, they will automatically be on Google Base the next. There are two parts to setting up your Google Base feed. First, you will need to register and set up an account with Google Base if you don't already have one. Next, you will need to transfer some of your information from Google Base into the Nextternal order management system. So the first thing we will want to do is to set up a Google Base account by going to www.google.com forward slash base. Now, if you already have a Google account, you can use that account to also submit your products to Google Base. If you do not have a Google account, go ahead and click on the Sign In to Google Base link here, and then click on the Create Account link. Pause the video and catch back up with us when you've completed creating your account. Once you have your Google Base account set up, go ahead and log into your Google account. Once you're logged into your Google Base account, you will want to then go to the Settings section. On this page, you will be asked to enter some information about your company, your display name, your description, and your website URL. Now, these are crucial pieces to the configuration. Your display name is obviously your company name. The description will be a short description about your company. Now, the website URL is vital to Nextternal customers. If you are using a domain alias when inside of Nextternal, you'll want to include that domain alias here. If you're not using a domain alias with Nextternal, you include your Nextternal URL that includes your account name. So it'd be something like www.nextternal.com slash fairway. Okay. From here, you would just continue on to configure some of the general settings like your time zone, your language, contact email, technical contact email, and notifications. Once you've completed this information, click on Save Changes. Now that you've configured your settings, we're going to want to configure the data feed to upload to Google. We do this by going to My Items, clicking on Data Feeds, and clicking on New Data Feed. Now here you'll enter all the information regarding your data feed including the select target country, the select item type which in most cases external customers select products. Yours may vary slightly but uh, 9 times out of 10 it is products that you're choosing. You'll then select the type of feed that you're registering which is Google Base then you will specify the data feed file name. Now, this has to match up with the data feed file name that you're going to configure inside of the external system as well. So you'll want to make it something that's easy to remember. And also, it has to end in the .txt format. So we're going to go ahead and name that after our account name. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on Register Data Feed. This will take you back to your My Items page. On here, you'll now see the file that you've just registered. On my screen, you'll notice that I have some statuses and last upload dates um, as I've been testing this for the video. However, yours should be blank. So we've prepared the Google Base settings to accept the data feed that Nextternal is going to publish for you. But before we can actually call this complete, we need to get the FTP information out of Google and enter that into the external order management system. To do this, we are going to return to the settings section. We will then 
click on the FTP account page. Now this should give you your FTP account server name, username, and password if you've already registered your FTP information. If you have not entered your FTP information before, you'll want to want to visit the web address www.google.com slash base slash update FTP. Okay, this will allow you to create a password and then retype your password and update your FTP account. Once you've done this, take note of the FTP information as we're going to once again need that to enter into the next external system. Now that we've configured Google to accept the data feeds, we need to log in to the next external order management system and configure the settings inside of Nextternal to pass that data feed up to Google. So let's go ahead and log into the Nextternal OMS. Once inside of the order management system, we will jump to the product section and we will click on the export slash traffic tools button. From here, we will click on the preferences section next to the marketplace exports. Then we will scroll down to the Google base options. For the Google base category, you are going to type in products. The file name once again has to match the file name that you registered with Google. We're going to want to use the automated Google base feed and here we will enter in the FTP username and password twice. Once you've configured those settings, go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on finish. You should now be done setting up your automated Google base feed. Your feed will be uploaded within 24 hours and you may check the status of your product file by logging into your Google base account. It's extremely important that you confirm your upload was successful by logging into your Google account. Nextternal may state the file upload was successfully fed to Google, however Google may find errors and reject the feed from their side. Now uploading to Google Base is an easy way to generate traffic to your online store and for the price it's very tough to beat. I also recommend feeding your products to other marketplaces we work with like Shopzilla, Yahoo Shopping, and Pricegrabber. The setup is very similar to Google and should only take you a few minutes for each marketplace. If you have any questions on this topic, feel free to contact us using the Nextternal Help Desk. You can also call us at 1-800-914-6161 or email us at ecommerce at This has been Ty Nunez with Nextternal Solutions.